Uh, Jack Della Maddalena coming in. Uh, they don't have the odds for this one, but he's getting a fight. He's supposed to fight last week at UFC 290. Uh, Josiah Harrell had to pull out due to medical issues, and now he's getting a short notice opponent in Basil Hafez, who will they're you know, you're going from T Mobile to the Apex, so it's kind of a tough draw for Jack Della, but he's getting the fight either way. Basil Hafez, I think, might be a better test. Uh, for Jack Della than uh, was it Josiah Harrow would be mm-hmm. so four and one in his last five eight three and one uh, total record for Hafez and that one was a draw to Jeremiah Wells back in 2017. He's been a pro since 2016, so he's been around in the pro scene for seven years. Um, I think he's got just a little bit better experience than uh, Josiah Harrow would. And he's got a lot more fights. Uh, Evan Cuts, he had a split decision loss to Evan Cuts in 2021. Avenged that loss in his last one or his last time out this February, and uh, finished him in the third round. He's coming in here. Um, I don't mean he's got a pretty solid wrestling game. And uh, Jack Della obviously going to be a striker. I would assume he's going to be a big favorite in this one. Um, but yeah, I. There's not too much to say about this because it's such a a weird circumstance for Jack Della. It seems like he's got everything to lose and nothing to gain. So I don't know if he's a huge favorite again, might be worth taking a shot on Basil Hafez, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Jack Della for the pick. But what do you think? Yeah. um, I was looking at Hafez's Instagram. It looks like he trains training partner with Justin Gaethje. Kamara Usman, Muhammad Usman, um, that whole gang, you know. So it's not like he's he's around phenomenal fighters. He's around the top fighters and uh, on a team that those guys push each other to be the absolute best. You know, training at elevation, um, great camp, great fighters, great coaches. He's going to be ready for this fight. I don't think he's going to be, um, you know, coming here like a fish out of water. I think he knows what he he's in for. I, I think he's a scrappy dude. You look at his record. And he does have some finishes on his record a lot, you know, four by submission, one by knockout and three by decision. The dude's pretty talented on the ground. Like if you watch him, he's super strong with his top positions. And that's exactly what he's going to have to do if he wants any chance here, because we've seen it time and time again with Jack Della. Uh, You can't go out there and stand in front of him because he's going to jab your face off until you're worried about it. And then he's going to come over with the right hand and, and put you down. Like the dude is such a talented striker that if you're at this level that Hafez is, and you go in there and you try to prove something with him on the feet, he's just going to put you out or he's going to hurt you and get you on the ground. Um, so, yeah, I think Jack should get this win pretty easily. But Hafez comes from a great camp, and this is the type of dude you don't want to underestimate because at the end of the day, you could find yourself in a dog fight when you don't have to be. So, Jack, keep it on the feet. Jab him, jab his face off. Do what you do, and you should get the win. But, uh, but yeah, man, interesting stuff. I'm excited to see both of these fighters fight, actually. Yeah. Shorter or smaller cage, you know, Basil Hoff is pretty bricked up, dude. I mean, he's he a big like dude in great shape. And, uh, I mean, he's a natural 170 er And compared to Josiah, who's, who's kind of like a 160, 165-er. So he's yeah. going to have a little bit more size coming into this one. It's a tougher fight for Jack Dilla. And mm-hmm. he's been through a lot in the past, you know, few week, week or two. Uh, so... We'll see how he could come out and deal with that in this one. Um, but yeah, I'll take him for the pick. But he can't take him lightly, that is for